Hi, it's Steve Pelletier here. Today we're going to talk about what you can do to have your dog stop biting your walls. Now first of all, we have a saying that we use with respect to dog behavior. You want to train them to do the things you want them to do, and you want to challenge them physically and mentally to get them to stop doing the things you don't want them to do. That's the biggest key to get your dog to behave the way you want. So, for wall biting or any other kind of behavior, we recommend that you do a couple of things. The first thing you need to do is you need to properly exercise your dog. I recommend at least 30 minutes of as vigorous exercise as possible given your dog's health conditions. We recommend running, taking your dog out and moving them around quickly because just like human beings, when dogs exercise intensely, they get a sort of runner's high. This runner's high makes them feel good just like it makes us feel good. And that's one of the reasons why exercise is a great technique to curb bad behavior. When the dog feels well and happy, they're less likely to do things that they shouldn't be doing. The second thing that I recommend, and it's equally important, is challenge them mentally. So what I like to do with my dogs is get some of these little challenge puzzle games, use treats if you need to, and have them play with those things. They're not easy, and it will take them a little while to learn. And while they're learning, the brain's active. And as the brain is active, that actually spends some energy, and it gets the dog to be more confident so that they're less likely to perform these behaviors that you don't want them to do. One last tip. If you have the time, and you should make the time, exercise with your dog. Play the games with your dog, because this bonding that happens will also help eliminate behavioral problems. They will be in tune with your emotions. They will understand, even without you saying, when they're not doing what they should be.